back. So if you guys remember in the previous lesson, I went into the product list component and said this logic right here for getting the URLs for each product didn't belong inside the actual component, it belonged in the product service. So let's get that back now by actually starting out removing this and putting it uh, back to where it actually was before. So I'll just get rid of this again. There we go. So now it's plain component only getting the products and now we need to figure out how we can actually get it back in here so the products will not only get the actual products that it needs, it'll also get the URLs or the pictures for the products in this request right here using the file service to get those pictures. So let's figure out how we can do that. Now step one, I went in and I created, it's almost test environment right now, I went in and I created a couple of tests to kind of test this out for me before I actually start writing the code. Don't worry, tester development is a new series almost coming. Yay! So let's try and check out the two tests I made. The first test I made was pretty much just checking if there is a product without, uh, it shouldn't have a URL if there's no picture ID, right? And right now the test is not working as it should because right now there's always a picture ID when I get my actions. So we're going to change that. Let's just make a very simple change to my actions right here. I want, when I get actions, I want to be able to say, should there be a picture ID? Yes or no. Let's jump down to our helper and say, I just want to pass in an extra parameter here, just saying add picture ID, right? So very simple method, uh, parameter, and it's going to be of the type Boolean. And as default, Boolean, as default, it's going to be equal to true. That's something you can do when you pass in parameters in TypeScript. You can say, as default, be true. And then if you pass in false, then it'll be false. Duh. Okay, so now I have a picture ID. And what I can actually do is, I can go in here and say, when I create this guy, when I add the action, before we actually add it, let's just create a small product right here that I want to add. And let's just make it into a simple um, product like that. So now we have a product available. I'm going to add the name. That needs to be there always in my setup right now. It's going to be ABC plus the I, right? Just like we have down, down here. It's going to be the exact same thing. But I'm going to make an if statement right here and say if add picture ID, if that is available, and only if that is available, then I'm going to say ID. And actually we can be even more specific here. We can actually say this is going to be of the type product just to get some type safety and to get some help right here. And uh, stop, stop doing that. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Help me out here. There we go. So now we can say picture ID and it can help me out. And we'll also just add the ID here to call itself a product. That ID will be overwritten, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just keep it uh, blank for now. It will be overwritten later on. Sweet. So now we have a product right here and we can just send that product in here and just return that instead of actually making the fake product down here. Now, that was a very simple way for us to kind of set up, it can even be a constant right here, let's just do that. That was a very simple way for us to make a, a small adjustment so that now when we get actions, we can actually decide if there should be a picture ID or not. So let's just try and use this. Go up here, when I call get action now, I'll put in a comma right here and I'll send in false, meaning I do not want to get that picture ID. And now hopefully this test will fail because it shouldn't get this def zero in the picture ID. And there we go. We should get undefined, but we're actually getting back zero. So let's just get rid of that in our test. So let's try and see if everything runs. What? I'm actually getting back a picture ID that's undefined. That wasn't expected behavior. I wouldn't expect there to be a picture ID at all. So what's going wrong right here? Well, this is actually something I didn't expect when I created this get products in the service. Let's try and check it out. Notice one thing right here. I'm always in the current setup. I'm always returning picture ID when I'm getting products, right? So the map always expects there to be a picture ID. What? That shouldn't be there. If there's no picture ID, there's no reason to actually add this. This is a minor thing, but it's just something that annoys me. So what I'll do instead is, I'll just do the same thing right here that we did in the test. I'll just make a small constant right here, which is going to be the new product that we're going to return. And that new product is actually going to be equal to this right here. And then I'm going to return the product in the end like this. Now, this is going to be of the type product, just like we did before. There we go. And then I'm going to say, instead of adding this always, I want to do an if statement. So I'm going to say if, um, data dot product ID picture ID sorry if that is actually there then I want to set the product the picture ID equals data dot picture ID right so if you guys noticed this it pretty much just meant that I found a small uh, maybe I wouldn't call it a bug but it was an unexpected behavior in my code right I didn't expect oh, I want the curly brackets I'll give you the curly brackets there we go. I didn't expect actually there to be any picture ID in the data set. 
I expected this to be completely gone, but it was actually there and undefined. So now, with this small change to my get products, maybe I solved the problem. Okay, it's gone. But we still have one failure, and that's actually because we're not getting the URL, which I expected. So now we found a small, I don't want to know if I want to call it a bug, but at least it was unexpected behavior because I actually got the picture ID back, even though I didn't pass the picture ID um, to the system. So that was kind of a small, strange issue we had right there. Let's just clean this up. Give me a second. There we go. And I just wanted to show you guys that before we actually continued. And now that we have this set up, we have a new small way to kind of go in to our service right here and send if we want to actually have a picture ID or not. Let me just hide that. So we can send in false or true if we want to send in a picture ID. If we don't pass anything in and get action, we'll get a picture ID automatically, by the way. But if we do pass in false right here, we won't get a picture ID. And guess what? We just made this test pass. So let's try and see how we can make this one. That'll be for the next lesson. See you next time. Have fun.